Question 2. Part B. Part 1. Find the integral of 1 plus e to the power of 7x dx. The integral of 1 is x and the integral of e to the power of 7x is e to the power of 7x divided by 7 or can be written as 1 over 7 times e to the power of 7x. Don't forget to add the constant of integration c. One way to check our answer is to differentiate the primitive function that we just found. So the derivative of x plus 1 over 7 times e to the power of 7x plus the constant c is equal to 1 plus 7 times 1 over 7 times e to the power of 7x plus 0. And 7 times 1 over 7 is 1. So we end up with 1 plus e to the power of 7x, which equals the integrand that we started with. Part 2. Evaluate the integral of 8x over 1 plus x squared dx from x equals 0 to x equals 3. By inspection, we can see that the numerator is four times the derivative of the denominator. Now, differentiating 1 plus x squared, we get 2x. So if we had 2x in the numerator, then the integrand would be in the form f dash of x over f of x, and the integral will involve ln of f of x. So I'm going to rewrite the integrand so that it's in the form f dash of x over f of x, and then I can proceed to perform the integration. So 8x over 1 plus x squared can be written as 4 times 2x over 1 plus x squared because I want 2x to appear in the numerator. Now this 4 here is a multiplying constant and that can be written outside or in front of the integral. So that equals to 4 times the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 3 of 2x over 1 plus x squared dx. Now the integrand is in the form f dash of x over f of x and the integral is ln of 1 plus x squared. So this equals 4 times ln of 1 plus x squared from x equals 0 to x equals 3 and applying the limits of integration that equals 4 outside of ln of 10 minus ln of 1 in brackets and ln of 1 is equal to 0. So the final answer is 4 times ln of 10.